If you're looking for a software that helps you to build your business, gives you funnels, courses, emails, calendars, a CRM, social media, and so much more, then my favorite platform is definitely Go Higher Level. And we have a series of videos on this channel that teach you how to use Go Higher Level, and this is one of them. Welcome. If it is your first time watching any one of my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. On this channel, I teach you how to turn your courses or coaching programs into a recurring revenue system in your business. So don't forget that if you are looking to give Go High Level a try, my link is right below this video. Please go ahead and click that and we have a bunch of amazing bonuses um, for you should you use my link. Let me walk you through how to create upsells for your courses or programs using Go High Level. Okay, so we are in the dashboard of Go High Level. So I'm inside one of the accounts that we have created for demonstration purposes, so there's nothing here uh, to see. So it gives me uh, the opportunity to be able to show you things properly and to build from scratch. If you have an upsell, for example, you can then click on upsell and you can click here at upsell to add an upsell product. For adding an upsell, you have two options. You have the one click upsell, which is uh, which allows you to sell an offer after an initial offer is purchased. So that's a one click upsell, which means that their credit card, whatever card that they have used is already stored in the system. And once they click a button, they pay straight away. So they don't need to re-enter their details. That is an, a one click upsell. This is an in-app upsell, slightly different. In-app in upsell allows you to lock products or offers as a bundle in the My Library page. So this is a little bit different, a little bit advanced. I prefer the one click upsell. You can select that, click on continue. So to actually add an upsell, after you click the one click upsell, you'll see here when you hit the drop down, if it's your first time setting up an upsell, you won't have the option to add anything here. This has come up because I have added it in. So let me show you what I had to do. So if I come back out of here, right? Um, click on cancel. I come back to offers. What I'm going to do is create a new offer. So go to create offer. I'm going to call this upsell. Um, uh, let's call this coaching upsell, right? Assessment, coaching assessment. This is my upsell, if I can spell. Right, this is my upsell. All right, so it says select any product. So make sure that you've already created that upsell as a product, so you go through the process again. But let's imagine this is the product. I've uh, selected that, enter the price. Let's imagine that it's $67 for the price. And I don't have Stripe still, so it still says free. Um, but I put this on a live and I click on create over here. It's going to send me to the next page. Make sure you hit this in published. Otherwise it won't, you know, nothing will happen. And then click on save. What will happen is if I come back over here to offers, you see that I now have several offers, including my coaching assessment offer. So now to add the upsell to the original product that I was creating, the original product was, uh, the original offer, pardon me, was coaching accelerator. So I'm going to click on coaching accelerator again, go straight to upsell, click on add upsell, click on one click upsell, click on continue click on here, and then now I have my upsells coming up. Do you see that? So the, the, the upsell that I want to use is coaching assessment. Click on add upsell offer. Once I have done that, I have many more options of what I would like to do. So let's have a look. So here you can click down and edit the details for this specific upsell, edit the body, add any videos you need to add. It sort of creates some sort of sales page for you um, to use. Now, bear in mind, you only need to create upsells if you're adding other products um, for people to buy within the transaction, within the buyer cycle of this specific product. Now, if you're just creating a program or a course, etc., and giving people access to that, you don't need to go through um, all of this. But assuming you are creating upsells, etc., um, then of course you hit um, save. Once you have made all the changes, um, uh, don't forget to do the checkout, click on everything and make all the changes that need to happen, especially your colors, your branding, all of that good stuff. Click on save and it has been saved successfully. So then I go back and I can see that for Coaching Accelerator, which is that first offer, I have a one-click upsell. And um, right now it's inactive. 
if I can set it to active, let's see, there we go. It's now active, so therefore it's ready um, for people to purchase, assuming they want to buy that. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you got incredible value and you were able to build along with me. Give me a comment below and let me know how you got on and any questions that you might have. I really hope you like Go High Level because I absolutely love it. And if you want to check it out, there is a link below this video uh, with a trial so that you can check that out. I'll see you in the next video.